hi everyone welcome to the youtube channel in this video we will see how to use replied in mobile so as you know that replied is a platform that helps you to do coding on your mobile phone it is also available on the web version but you can also use it on your mobile through its app on this app you can just simply do coding like you do normally on your screen laptop your system so you do the same thing on your mobile phone and you get the results out of it so the first thing that you have to make sure that you have already installed a Replit app. If you're using iPhone, then you have to go for App Store. And if you're using the Android, then you just have to simply go for the Google Play Store. So just simply click onto it. And after that, you just have to simply search for Replit app. And here is the actual app by Reply. You just have to simply install it into your mobile phone. Once it gets installed, you can just simply open it up and you can start your coding journey on it. If you're a coder or maybe just want to get into this industry, then the Replied app will be the best option for you. Its interface is very easy. You can just simply use it to learn about coding or you can also practice your coding. So once it gets installed, you can see that we will have that option for open. And once we have this option, you just have to simply click on this option, open, and after that, the app will open. So here you just have to simply create your account. You can either use your Gmail account, your GitHub account, or you can go with your email. It's all up to you. You can go with any one of these options, whatever you prefer. Here I'm going with Google in which I will provide my Gmail account. And after that, it will take us to this page where it will ask for the plan. So if you want to purchase its subscription plan, you can go for it. Otherwise, you can just simply enjoy its free plan. So this will be the interface that you will see at first. Here we have different options on our screen. Right now we are into this home page and other than that we have this option create search and account. So if you want to start creating any kind of project then you have to click on create and you will get here. So again we have different options up here. First we have to choose a language on which we will work. So here right now we have three languages Python, Nord.js and C which is also known as the C++ and other options. So you can click on any one of these. And after that, you just have to simply give it a title. In title, you can name it anything, whatever you prefer, whatever you think is the right name. And after that, you have to click on this option, create, and then a file will be created in which you will start your coding. So here it will just take a while to load. And once the loading is done, we will get to this page. So now we just have to simply start writing our code here at the top you can see we have this typing bar if you click onto it you will get this option to write so whatever you do coding on your system you can also do the same thing up here so right now we have different kind of screens up here this one is the coding screen or you can say coding window and if you swipe to the left on the right side you will see the results and along with that you can see all these options so whatever we create in the first window will have the result on the second window you can also call it a tab or a window so here we will just start simply with this first command which will be the print which is the most common one this one which is uh, hello world so we will go with the same one hello world and we will see if it works or not so you can see this code likewise you can create any code of your choice or whatever you think is the one that you're looking for and after that you have to click on this run option which is at the bottom of the page once you do for it it will start running this command it will just take like a few seconds or maybe a minute once this command is completed you will see the results of the code that we have done on the first tab and here you can see we have the result you can see it says hello world this is the code that we entered up here likewise if you want to add more kind of commands you can go for it instead of writing hello world you can add anything so therefore i'm just gonna go with youtube and let's see if it works or not here i'm just adding youtube but you can add any kind of thing if you know any other specific code you can just simply add up here and after that you just have to simply run for this command so to run this command at the bottom we have this option run just simply click on to it and here you will see the results so here you can see it actually added both of the commands that we have added so what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna remove the first one because i only need the second command you can also click here this run option and after that you will see the results here so that's how it all works 
and once you have created this file if you would like to kind of save it or maybe share it you can also do it so to do it you have to simply click on these option and you will see these options up here you can like move it you can share it you can fork it you can preview or you can even delete this file if you would like to so that's how you can use the replit app on your mobile phone that's how you can do coding onto it and that's how you can get its result there are different kind of languages and a lot more options available you can just simply explore this whole platform and you will just simply get to know more about it i hope you found this video helpful and informative in case if you have not subscribed the youtube channel then make sure to subscribe it for more informative videos and updates you can also press the bell icon button so whenever a new video gets published you can get notified if you have any queries or if you want to know something else you may ask in the comment section below please leave a like and comment and at the last thank you so much for watching the video